Density is a property of a substance. For example, iron has a density, gold has a density, water has a density. Density is measured and calculated by taking the object's mass and dividing it by the object's volume. When we calculate density, we use the mass measured in grams and the volume measured in milliliters because those are the most common units um, and the most logical units for calculating density. One exception to this is when we're dealing with a gases with, with a gas, we will measure the mass in grams, but we will measure the volume in liters instead of milliliters. We're really not going to see any examples of that until we study gases quite a bit further down the road. Uh, for now, for solids and for liquids, we are going to use grams and milliliters as our units for calculating density. The value of the density of an object is a constant. It doesn't matter how big or small the object might be, the density will always be the same. So let's say, for example, that we have a piece of gold and um, it, we measure its mass and we measure its volume and do the math and we get a, a density. If we have a larger sample of gold, let's say that it's, I'm going to try to draw it like two times bigger, the mass of this sample has increased by two times. The volume has increased by two times. So the mass has doubled and the volume has doubled. And you guys are good enough with fractions to know that doubling the mass and doubling the volume all at the same time will not have an effect on the overall outcome of this mathematical equation. So no matter how small an object is or how large an object is, the density will always be calculated exactly the same, which is kind of cool. Let's look at a couple of examples of calculating density. So let's say that we have a piece of silver and it has a mass of 194.3 grams and it has a volume of 18.5 milliliters. And let's calculate what the density is of this object. And as you can see, this is a really simple calculation. All that we have to do is take the mass divided by the volume. Our mass is 194.3, don't forget your units. Our volume is 18.5 milliliters. We just have to plug this into a calculator and work out the number 194.3 divided by 18.5. We get 10, see what would be reasonable here, 10.5, the units of density are grams per milliliter. So we would pronounce that 10.5 grams per milliliter. That's a pretty straightforward calculation, pretty simple to use. Um, we can get a little bit trickier with our density calculation. So let's say, for example, we have a piece of gold and gold has a density of 19.3 grams per milliliter. And let's say that we have a mass of gold, that is 10 grams. What if we wanted to know the volume? So there's a couple ways that we could approach setting up this problem. We could go back to our density equation. Density equals mass over volume. And we could say, well, we know the density. We know the mass. Our volume is our unknown. We could rearrange the equation at this point to isolate the volume variable, but maybe your brains are feeling a little bit rusty and not really wanting or knowing how to tackle this. So let's just start by plugging in what we actually know. So we know density is 19.3, and don't forget the units. We've got that right there. Mass, we know that to be 10 grams. And the volume, that's our unknown. We'll just call that x. So how can we solve for the x in this equation? Remember our properties of algebra. If we have 
an equality like this and we have a fraction on one or both sides, the numerator on one side times the denominator on the other side is equal to the numerator from one side times the denominator from the other side. We'll turn this into a fraction. So that means that we have these two, one times 10 grams, I'll even put the one in there, that is equal to these two, 19.3 times x. Now we have to solve for x. How can we solve for x? Divide both sides by 19.3 grams per milliliter. 19.3 grams per milliliter. These cancel each other out, and to solve for x, we just simply have to take 10 times 1 divided by 19.3. 10 divided by 19.3 is 0.518. So our volume is 0.5, we'll say 0.52, don't forget the units, milliliter. If you're feeling really uncertain about this, uh, first of all, got to brush up on your math, get comfortable with it. You can always take these numbers and plug them back in to the density equation and make sure that they equal 19.5. So if we've done this correctly, the mass 10 divided by the volume 0.52 better equal 19.3. Close enough. Uh, we did some rounding, which is why it's off by a little bit, but it's close enough. We can feel confident that it is accurate.